So he made it to Velazhin, which of course was the Ema Yeshivos, founded by Reb Chaim Velazhiner, the Talmud Muvak of the Vilna Gaon, one of the most famous of the Yeshivas, which opened in about 1823, was closed in 1893 or so, and then opened, reopened. So he was there. Um, this is about the uh, in the 1890s or so, and I made it to Velazhin, he says. So he was 16 when he came there. He was a tremendous masmid. He said his friends remember as being the poteach v'soger at latot Beit Midrash. He was the one who opened and closed the Beit Midrash. Now, it's known that one of the great bikim, one of the great uh, greatest of those who knew an enormous amount was named Moshe Landinsky, who became the Rosh Yeshiva of Radin. Was, Radin Yeshiva was run by the Chavetz Chaim. It was his yeshiva, but he had a he didn't give shiurim in Gemara, and the uh, Rosh Yeshiva for a certain period was named Moshe Lend- Lendinsky. Of course, or Naftali Trau- Trump was another one. I think Moshe Lendinsky was before him, so he was obviously older, and it, it attests to Rav Zalman's uh, intellectual abilities that he was given such a chavrusa. And he said they used to learn sixteen hours in a row together, besides for davening. Okay, if you can't imagine such a thing, just uh, so say. So, that was a very serious chavrusa. Learned sixteen hours in a row with someone like that. He writes about it. Right, but kach betzim nichnas a bachor at zir kol kach. He's so young. He was sixteen, seventeen. The omek kivshan eish. Right, he went right into the furnace. La piskat olam atorah. Right to the highest place of Torah. Who hayabatzim main brutzkai. Okay, and he learned with him. And obviously, he had to put all of his kochus. To, to hold with this great Ramosha Lindinsky, who's already a big shame dover. Okay, this is from someone who wrote about what it was like in Velazhin. You know, here we spoke about a lot, a lot about Slobodka. What was Velazhin like? Let's hear. Um, so I'm not sure who wrote this. But as Zichron Olam Ha'olim Izman Hanaim Miyamim Avru Bivelazhin. This is Rabbi Yomtov Litman Rakov. Okay, that was the person who wrote this. Yomtov Rakov. Nothing to do with the Rav Zalman per se, but it's just a tiur, a description that he wrote about his time of Velazhin, of that time. He says, I was there, and I can't even describe it in words. It's impossible to really write about what Velazhin felt, felt like. The Avira was so full of love of Torah. He says, whatever is left today is like nothing. I know when he wrote this, maybe now it's, it's gotten better, um, but now it's a totally different level, says Rav Rakov. The, the spiritual pleasure to think or to speak in learning, to ask a question, to hear an answer, or a lishitoso, this Rashi is going like this Rashi, is going like this Rashi, or a steer rishon. He says it was just, we were thinking and learning all the time. Elu tafsu et kolamach, our whole head was in learning. Kach shima tar hayun ner domim, with the Torah we would go to sleep. This was a student, not the Rosh Hashiva. From the Torah, we would dream about it. Beautiful dreams, beautiful Torah dreams we had. So we went to sleep with the Torah, we dreamt about the Torah, we woke up with the Torah. Many times, we would think about one question for hours until an answer would come up. And how great was the joy when the answer would come. Most of our avoda was Yashos of straightness and admitting. It says the Velazhin emphasized the straight way and being honest. It wasn't like big, wild, crazy papul. It was get to the truth. Lokomo bali gaiva, shikushim tsrikhunli share below terror. It's not like the bali gaiva when they ask the kasha, they don't want to hear an answer because they want to stay with their kasha. The masmidim, especially, we're so happy to hear something new. And the masmidim, Right? Some yeshivas, the main thing is the, the smartest ones. I'm sure the smart ones had a place in the legend, but Masmid and those who really worked in Torah and always were at it had a special place. Okay, so that's a little bit about um, where the Avira, the environment that Reb Zalman had already as a youngster in Velazhin. As I said, he went on to Slobodka, um, and that's where we will leave the discussion of his youth. Mm-hmm.